Hello and welcome along. Today we take a look at the next two fact sheets released by Giant Software in the run up to the release of Farming Simulator 19. Numbered 6 and 7, they shine the spotlight on some of the new forestry equipment in game, filling in the blanks for some already revealed equipment and introducing us to some new machinery as well. So without further ado, let's take a look. The focus of Fact Sheet 6A is a forestry harvester that was first revealed several weeks ago uh, from a brand new to Farming Simulator. The Komatsu 931XC is categorized as a tree harvester and has a base price of 435,000. Its engine power is rated at 185 kilowatts or 251 horsepower. It has a fuel capacity of 405 liters and a maximum speed of 20 kilometers at per hour or 12 miles per hour. Its sole customization option is the wheel setup, which has a choice of standard or Ollis 4 tracks. When this harvester was first revealed, I was pleased to see another brand added to the forestry aspect of the game. The harvester itself looks great, especially uh, in the recently released spotlight video, and I think it will be a fantastic addition to the game as an alternative to the Ponzi Scorpion. Fact Sheet 6B shines a spotlight on another piece of machinery from Komatsu, which was first seen in, a, in the spotlight video from earlier this week. The 875 is categorized as a forestry forwarder and has a base price of 216,000. Its engine power is rated at 185 kilowatts or 251 horsepower. The fuel capacity is 160 litres and its maximum speed is 20 kilometres per hour or 12 miles per hour. The only customization option available is the wheel setup, which has a choice between standard and Ollis 4 tracks. Like the 931XC, it's great to see another option for this type of vehicle in game and a further expansion of the forestry equipment in general. How useful this would be to me in game though will very much depend on any improvement to the game's physics. Fact Sheet 7 opens with a new twist on a vehicle that has been in game for the last few iterations. The MAN TGX 26.640 is fitted with a BIFA truck bunk construction and a PAL Finger Epsilon Q17Z Timber Crane. Categorized as a timber truck, it has a base price of 180,000. The engine power is rated at 471 kilowatts or 640 horsepower, and the fuel capacity is 490 liters. Its maximum speed is 80 kilometers per hour or 49 miles per hour, and the color can be customized. The truck is a nice and welcome surprise. So far in Farming Simulator, we haven't really seen any non-articulated lorries as a standard vehicle in game. And I hope that this might also mean that we get a flatbed or small tipper too. On a separate note, I love how this image in the fact sheet shows off the shine of the different materials. Uh, its head and shoulders above the capabilities of Farming Simulator 17. And it looks spectacular. I cannot wait to see it in person. The focus of the second half of Fact Sheet 7 is a returning tractor from Steyr, paired with a new piece of forestry equipment from Flegel. First up, the Steyr Profi CVT is categorized as a tractor with a base price of 112,000. It has an engine power rating of 107 to 145 kilowatts or 129 to 175 horsepower. Its fuel capacity is 210 liters and it has a maximum speed of 50 kilometers per hour or 31 miles per hour. The customization options are engine, wheel brand and wheel setup which can be set to standard wheel weights wide tires, wide tires and wheel weights, narrow tires, rear twin wheels, twin wheels and communal. 
It's paired with the Flegel Long Neck Combi Plus, which is categorized as logging tongs, with a price of 3500 While I used the Steyr as a tractor in Farming Simulator before, uh, I used it more in Farming Simulator 15 than Farming Simulator 17. Uh, it is, though, great to see its return for Farming Simulator 19. A good all-round little tractor. It will be very useful in the early stages of the game. And the logging tongs are a very interesting new addition. And game physics allowing, I look forward to trying them out. So there we are. Let us know in the comments what you think about these machines and if you will use them in-game yourself. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.